Hey there everybody, welcome to Truckin' with Tuffy the Great. So, it is here, the beta, uh, open beta for patch 1.5, which is the map rescale that I've, you've heard me talk several times about. Um, it's here, and we're participating in it now. Um, and this is also here, um, I did a video on this and I need to post it. It came out a couple weeks ago, this is the Peterbilt um, 389 Ultra Sleeper Cab. Um, got kind of a cool straight out of hell paint job painted on her. This was part of the Halloween pack that came out. Um, so 1.5 map rescale. What does that mean for us as American trucking enthusiasts? Well, it means a couple of different things. We get um, some new features for the game. You can choose from two different types of axles now for your truck. A uh, uh, 2x6 and a 3x6 with a liftable uh, mid-axle. And that does a couple of different things. It reduces wear and tear and it improves gas mileage on long hauls when you don't need that extra power. Um, the other thing that we get is when you're in the shop, you can search for things by name now, which for those of you who have just tons and tons of mods installed, um, cosmetic mods on your game, it's kind of a cool thing because that means that now you don't have to search through lists and lists of mods. You can just search for something and it pops right up. So that's kind of kind of neat on their part. Um, but the big thing is the map rescale. The map rescale is the biggest thing to come out for ATS since the game launched to like back in February of 2016. Now the map rescale, the original game that launched was at 135. So that means that for one mile you went in the game, that was a simulated 35 miles real life. So if something took 35 miles to get somewhere, it only took you realistically a mile. Um, if it took you 35 minutes in real life to drive somewhere, it would only take you a minute in the game. So that's basically how that works out. The map has been rescaled to 1 20th. So if it takes you 20 minutes to get somewhere in the game, it's going to take you a minute. So for 20 miles you would drive in real life, you're actually, um, it's a simulated mile in the game. So the map has, oh, no, that's not what we want there. The map has been completely rescaled. It feels much larger. Um, I just ran a load from uh, San Francisco here all the way down to Holbrook, Arizona, and it felt like it took forever. What is going on here? What is this? What is this? What is this thing making me do here? Is this thing making me do one of those goofy, goofy little roads? Better not be. Um, so the map itself just feels bigger. You can see, except for the route from San Francisco to Holbrook, all the roads are grayed out, which means that I have not driven those roads yet. And luckily, we got to keep all our cities. So all the cities that I've discovered are still there. Sands 1, Santa Maria, the map rescale allowed them to put another city into the game, Santa Maria on the west, uh, west coast here, between Santa Cruz and Oxnard. So it's, it's pretty cool, it's pretty huge, it feels open, it feels big, it feels the way that it should when driving across America. So driving across America is a very unique experience. I have done it myself several times. I've driven um, from Virginia to Colorado. I've driven from Virginia to Texas. Um, Colorado, I drove from Virginia to Colorado, then up to Montana, um, from Montana to the, the West Coast, Portland, Seattle, that area. So driving in the United States is a, is a very, very unique experience when it comes to road trips. Now, the one thing I was kind of hoping for, and I think, I think rather foolishly, was maybe some new states, maybe a new state, maybe we get like maybe, you know, New Mexico here maybe, or you know, Utah, but no, we didn't get anything, but that's okay. Um, because they did finally release, as I said before, the Peterbilt 389. Um, this is actually done by SCS Software. This is not a mod that I've downloaded for the game. The truck is out, um, and it's a very, very cool truck. I'm really enjoying driving it. Put a few thousand miles on it already. So we've taken a job, and that job is construction houses from Holbrook, Arizona to Yuma. <coughs> So you have to be careful, especially me when I'm doing these videos, because the journeys now take longer, almost twice as long as they did before, almost 
twice as long. So something that would have been a 20 or 25 minute video would now be a 40 or 50 minute video. So I have to be very, very careful with picking jobs to do videos um, because, you know, for the most part, people only, according to YouTube, my average watch time for the American Truck Simulator videos is about two minutes. So people are literally clicking on it, getting about two minutes into it, and then clicking off. But that's okay. So let's go ahead and we'll hit drive. We'll take a look at our Peterbilt here. Looking good. Looking good, big girl. Had a lot of cool mods on it. Like I said, I did put a video. I've, I've done a video on the Peterbilt, and I need, to, I need to put that up. So let's jump inside, take a look. Got the nice walnut dash with our walnut custom steering wheel here. The back is very roomy, very, very cool. I can't open anything up. I'm hoping that one of these days they come out with like a an accessories pack for the cabin so you can kind of customize the inside of the cabin all right so let's get this journey going because we are just burning daylight we are going to have to go to sleep very very soon i just wanted to be able to show um what the maps look like in the daytime because as soon as we go to sleep it's going to get very dark very quickly I think they've made some graphical improvements as well, at least from what I can tell. Maybe it's just my own personal sense of perception with the game. I, I don't know. But I, I do believe that they did. The other thing that happened as soon as I booted up this beta, to get into the beta if you're an American Truck Simulator player, and you want to get into the beta, it doesn't cost you anything, it's completely free. You go up to your game, right click, um, go down to the bottom at properties, and it'll say one of the tabs will say beta. You click on the beta tab, select beta 1.5 from the selection queue, and the game will have to download the beta. So it'll take a couple minutes just to download that quick beta, and you're in after that. get our speed up to 25 here and just cruise along but what it did um, when we entered into that beta um, it reset my controller so I actually had to go through and completely remap my controller again because I play with a um, Xbox 360 afterglow controller so that was kind of a unforeseen pain in my rear end okay state trooper let's go daylight's burning here buddy Luckily, this is a shorter trailer, so it's a little bit easier to drive. And they've improved some of the road speeds, too. Normally, this would have been 25 miles an hour throughout the whole thing, but because this is kind of a main road in town, it looks like they've upped the speed to 35, a little more realistically. Oh, and then it drops. As soon as I say that, I have to eat my words. Drops us right back down to 25. That's okay, because we're going to stop here. <coughs> I think I need to lower my guy in his seat. I can't see past my little sun visor there. Alright, so it looks like we're going to go back up to 35 here. And it looks like this road narrows, so we need to get ready to move over. Um, unfortunately, AI is not going to permit us to move over, so we need to just kind of shove our way in there. <coughs> Of course, now we got a truck up there who's bobtailing, so now we're going to get stuck behind him the whole way. But you do feel like you're on a journey, more so than you did before. The roads are more open, there's kind of more going on. You just feel, your truck feels smaller. 
you feel like you're on a on a road trip. And we're doing 65, but I don't think it matters because it looks like we're catching up to these guys who are probably doing about 60. Or less, it looks like, because we're still catching up to them. Alright, so it looks like we're coming up on a town here. So the speed limit has dropped from 65 to 45 and should drop to 35, yep. There's that. Yep, and there's the 25 mile an hour drop. Hopefully we can get these two trucks out of our way at this intersection, open up the road a little bit. Let's check, do we have, when's our next sleep? Sleep spawn, sleep spawn, hmm. We might be able to make that. That looks pretty that looks pretty doable in almost four hours. Yep, and it looks like neither one of these trucks is turning right, so we're gonna be able to ditch them and move along with our lives here. This is Sholo, the lovely town of Sholo. Okay, set our cruise for 25, just kind of bebop along. I think they've added more of those to the uh, left turn. I think they added more of those. They needed to. You can see the towns are just a little bit more detailed as well. There's more going on. Um, the closer you get to a town, I've noticed, um, the more traffic increases, which is very, very realistic. The further we get outside of town, the more um, sparse the roads become. Kind of gives you that sense of being on an empty road. It's kind of neat. It doesn't look like this road narrows just yet, but we will see. Looks like it does up there though, so we're going to have to maybe gun it here, get ahead of these, this truck. If I have to, I'm just going to squeeze him out of the way there. Come on truck, there you go. Alright, so we're back up to 65 miles an hour on this stretch of highway. That right lane ends.
So what's next for American Trucking Simulator? Well, of course, I'd love to see more trucks. Uh, maybe if we can start getting, you know, maybe a Mac in there, or a Freightliner, or a Weston Star. The the new Freightliners. Oh, I love the way those trucks are not the Freightliners, but uh, uh, God, I can't think of the name right now. It's escaping me. It's it's really late at night. It's about two something in the morning right now. Um, but they're they're really really good looking trucks. Um, but of course, the one thing that I would want the most, I think, is I think I want another state or a state pack. Let's get that first state DLC out there. I'm thinking that we'll get the Pacific Northwest. Um, to me, it just makes sense to complete the West Coast. Um, give us more, you know, Oregon and Washington to drive up and down. So, I mean, if I had to put money on it, I would say that my money is on a Pacific Northwest um, map pack. Oh, slowing down. 55. What do we got? Oh, we got these treacherous speed. Uh, this windy area coming up. Let's see how this works. You know, the winding areas before were always a little, little sketchy. Um, your truck almost inevitably went off the road. Oh my goodness, what a treat. There is the Grand Canyon. How about that? Oh, that's cool. Look at the motor motorcycles. People do do that in the Southwest. It's an amazing drive, and I'm sure it's absolutely incredible on a motorcycle. This, I think this is this the Grand Canyon. Yeah, that's the Grand Canyon down there, kids. That's cool. Look at the mist from the river. And we are actually going to stop at this rest area beyond this gas station. We got to put our little driver to sleep here. So this is pretty good. I don't feel like I'm making unnaturally sharp turns. He's tired. All right, so we're going to do something real quick. Let's see if maybe we can't get a good picture out of this. Let's see. Mm, that's kind of interesting. Can we get a shot of the whole truck, maybe? Maybe with the Grand Canyon in the background there. Let's see, what does that look like? Okay, so we'll take that one. Let's see, maybe there's something back here kind of cool. Oh, that one might be kind of good. Let's get down. A little closer to ground level, though. See if we can maybe, yeah, we should be able to get that. That's a cool one. All right, enough playing around. Back to driving. Kind of cool. It was like Mesa. That was like a little rest stop. Neat. All right, so this is where we're gonna stop. I don't know 
if there was an entrance somewhere and I missed it or what. Alright, so let's get our driver some rest. We should wake up sometime in the evening. Yep. That's kind of neat. Sun coming through the... So let's get back on the road. So like I said, I do I do like it. I don't feel like I'm making very unnaturally sharp turns, which sometimes can happen. I feel like there are turns that my truck can handle where I don't have to swing way out and come back in to try to stay on the road. Now, I don't have any word on when Beta 1.5 is going to go live. I don't know. It could be a week. could be a couple weeks. They could get some not very positive feedback um, off of it and pull it back into development and shut the beta down and not release it for another month. I, mean, I haven't had any personal problems with it thus far. Um, I've had my navigator try to send me into like some really, really weird places. But other than that, I'm, I'm not having any problems with it. It's a very clean, very smooth patch so far. Let's, uh, we're going to do that real quick. Kind of adjust our little guy here. We're going to move him down just to touch in the seat, and then we're going to move our steering wheel down as well. I think that should be pretty good. Yes, we are open, it says. So, of course, with the bigger roadways, with the longer trips and the, and the longer journeys, they have, in fact, added more gas stations to the game. Um, so, hopefully, that won't be an issue. Now, American Truck Simulator, the biggest complaint that they've had was the smaller map. Euro Truck Simulator launch was immediately 120. Um, so the fact that American Truck Simulator launched at 135, I think that that was an attempt to scale the map back, um, give people a chance to enjoy the game, because a drive from Los Angeles to New York is a very lengthy journey, especially as a solo driver. But, you know, people have been saying make it bigger, make it bigger, make it bigger. So here they are. And honestly, I like the job that they've done. I mean, the game itself just feels incredible as a result of this. You know, you feel like you're on a journey, like I said.
we're just kind of coasting here. I'm waiting for it to hit 65 so that we can enable our cruise control and just cruise along. There we go. All right. So we're making some pretty good time now that we're on this this highway headed to the southwestern corner of Arizona. We're going to drop these construction houses in Yuma. Readjust the camera there so we're looking looking down the hood of the truck and not off to the side. Check my mirrors there. That was my bad. Sorry, buddy. All right, looks like we're going to get off the freeway. See what I larger city feels like now that the map has been rescaled, that it's been pushed up a little bit. My money is on not a whole lot different. that in these cities they have they would improve or like insert um, like landmarks <clears throat> you know because that was always one of my big complaints about Euro truck simulators you know you can pull into into Paris and it doesn't feel like you're driving in Paris you don't drive you don't see the Eiffel Tower you don't see any of the monuments and they did a good job in this game with like San Francisco and Los Angeles and Las Vegas making you feel you know like you're driving in this iconic city but you know I, I was kinda hoping maybe you drive by you know Cardinal Stadium and in, in, in uh, or by yeah Phoenix Arizona Cardinals yeah um, that you would maybe drive by the stadium or something along those lines and you know just give you that sense that you're in in Phoenix that you're in a large American city because they all have uniquely um, unique things you know and I think that once we get you know like Texas when you go to like San Antonio you'll be able to drive by the Alamo um, stuff like that now you can't drive a semi by the Alamo. Um, the area around the Alamo is just a little too closed off. But being able to see it would be nice. You know, again, give you that feeling that you're there. You 
you know, because, you know, you're driving around in Paris, you know, you don't see the Parisian skyline. Same thing with, like, London. You know, London with the Tower of London and Big Ben uh, and BBC Tower, it has very unique buildings to it that just give it kind of a feel that you're in London, and the game doesn't have those. You know, the skyline doesn't change. You just pull into London, and it feels like you're just driving around in kind of a generic city. You don't feel like you're in London. That's kind of a kind of a disappointment. So I had to readjust the sensitivity of my steering because, like I said, the game screwed with my... It reset my controller. Um, so I had to readjust the sensitivity, and I think that it's... I need to go back in and readjust it again. Turn on the old brights. See if I can't give you guys a better view. The other thing about it too is we won't feel like we're stopping as much to let our driver sleep because now the hours are drawn out longer.
that's kind of cool. A little rest stop up there. Kind of like what they have in Euro Truck Simulator. Neat. gives you that sensation of being on the road at night. You know, being on a long stretch of highway. Like I said, you just, you feel tiny in the world, which is the way that it should be. But we're coming up on our destination here. We're going to be jumping. See, this is, look at this. Look what's coming up on the map right now. It wants me to get off the freeway and then get back on the freeway. So I think that's a bug that I'm going to report, because that's about the second time it's happened. And then nothing changes. Just your route. So I think that's a bug that I need to report. Go ahead and jump over, because there's a semi in front of us who's doing just under what we are. Looks like the destination is coming up. I'm trying to figure out what the what the game's got me doing here. Oh, I see. We're gonna get off the freeway up here. Achievement Powell's Trail.
<laughs> That's awesome. What a weak little horn. Of course, it is just the, the truck horn. It's not the uh, big air horns on top. While we're here, let's just take a moment. We're going to fix that. Let's see. Options, controls, keys and bindings. There it is. Uh, beacon horn, air horn. So let's do that. Let's take that away. Because I got those two big horns up on top. We won't be able to use them. What do we think? Let's try it. That's it. stay in this left lane because we've got to turn left up here to this light. That's actually perfect because now I can see those top lights. Perfect. So we did we did good moving our Moving our guy down just a little bit. It's kind of good looking inside this truck, isn't it? This is a sharp looking truck. I do like it. like we're delivering these to the rail. So we're going a little intermodal here. Intermodal is when you have semis that deliver cargo to train depots and the train takes it to its destination and then a truck, another truck picks it up and drives it the rest of the way to its destination. on. Disconnect the trailer. And let's check out our results. Excellent rating, 430 miles. You can see uh, it took us 50 minutes to do that. Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty tremendous. All right, everybody. So that is it for this episode of Trucking with Tuffy. Um, if you liked what you saw in the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Please tell me how I'm doing. It's the only way that I'm going to ever improve my channel, um, is if you guys tell me what you do and don't like. And as always, if you like what you saw, please give the channel some help. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And drive safe, everybody, and I will talk to you later.